Let's read a story and see if we can answer the question by writing a number sentence. Luke went walking in the park on Saturday. He saw four dogs. He went to the park again on Sunday and saw two different dogs. How many dogs did Luke see all together? And here we can see we've got a picture of the dogs that he saw on Saturday. One, two, three, four and a picture of the dogs that he saw on Sunday. One, two. Let's go back to the story and see if we can find the number words to help us write the number sentence. So Luke went walking in the park on Saturday. He saw four. There's a number word. Four dogs. He went to the park again on Sunday and saw two. There's a number word. Two different dogs. Now, the question asks us, how many dogs did Luke see all together? I think that word all together is a really important word because it's telling us that it wants us to add them up and find out how many all together there were. So now that we have our number words, we can write our number sentence down here. So he saw four dogs on Saturday. And because of the word all together, we know that we are adding. So we need to use our addition symbol. Plus. And there were two dogs on Sunday. So we know that we need to add two. And we have to find out what that equals. There are a couple of different ways we could do that. I'm going to show you how to use our number line to help. So if we start with four from Saturday on our number line, we look for the number four. Here it is. And that's where we're going to start on our number line, on the number four. And we're going to count on to add the next number, which is two. Four plus two. And we're going to jump two spaces to the right because we're adding on. So four plus two looks like this. Four plus one plus two. And that is our answer. Four plus two equals six. And if you wanted to check it, you could count the dogs like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six dogs all together.